We're doing another milk and honey cocktail today. This one is uh, one that I saw on Steve the Bartender and I could not believe that I did not do it before. It is a riff of a riff. This is called the Oaxaca Night, if I didn't say that. Did I say that? You did not. My name is Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly. The ASMR on some of these old videos are fucking miserable. I didn't know that anybody was watching this for the ASMR quality of any of the videos. So sorry. Is huh? this the one where you're like really wow, sounds like that? It could could possibly be that like four month stretch when I lost my voice for four freaking months, and then I was like talking like this. We should redo those videos, man. All right, let's get into making the cocktail. Uh, this is not one that I have ever tasted before, so I'm very excited to taste it. Um, very simple cocktail. First, what we're gonna do is a scant half teaspoon of Angostura bitters. And uh, Oaxaca night is somebody from Oaxaca, I presume. Yeah, I guess a Oaxaca night would be somebody from Oaxaca. And then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. Usually this, we start with the citrus today, we are not. Did I get three quarters of an ounce out of that tiny lime? Let's see. Oh yeah, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then we're just gonna do one ounce of tequila. One ounce of tequila blanco. Messed up my words there for a second. And one ounce of mezcal. And the last thing we're gonna do is peel like a little two inch peel here of grapefruit. And we're gonna express it a little, throw it in there and do a regal shake. Ice into our tin like so. And give it a shake. And I'm gonna double strain it. Oh, it looks fantastic. First off, it's just nice and grapefruity right up on the nose. Oh yeah, that's nice. You get the smoke. I mean, it's not really smoke. That's the thing is that this particular mezcal that we used and then also Vita is not necessarily smoky. It's like the flavor profile of the roasted agave heart. That's what you're you're tasting. It's like this kind of roasted smoked kind of flavor. Does that make sense? It's not super smoky like mezcal would normally taste or like they liken it to scotch or something and that that type of like peat smoke. It's not that same type of thing. It's like this roasted flavor, right? That is a little bit smoky, but also has a lot of minerality in it. And you get that right up front in this cocktail. And then you get the Angostura bitters, those, that nice spice that's kind of playing through the honey, adding a nice, um, a nice texture to the cocktail. It's also adding a lot of savory sweetness to it. And then it's a nice and bright with the lime juice as well. Obviously the grapefruit is actually brightening it up a little bit and, and adding an extra little, almost bitter element, just like a little, it's like a little silver sort of lining to it of bitterness, if that makes sense. A silver lining of bitterness. It's not really what I'm, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that it's just adding this little undercurrent of bitterness to it, but it's like a fresh, bright sort of bitterness that you would get from a grapefruit. And what's really nice about this is that it is a mezcal cocktail without being super overpowering. So this cocktail was created by a bartender named Ben Long. He created it for the John Dory Oyster Bar when Sasha Petrosky was consulting there. He was working on a mezcal cocktail for the menu and Sasha Petrosky didn't like mezcal cocktails because he felt that mezcal kind of overtook cocktails. The flavor was just too dominant. Now at the time that they would have been doing this, there was a lot less mezcal on the market than we have now. They were using Vita Mezcal, which is actually a very bright citrusy mezcal that doesn't have a ton of smoke anyway. But because Sasha Petrosky was so against having a mezcal cocktail on the menu, this guy Ben Long just wanted to kind of double down and create something. And he created this, he put it in front of Sasha. Sasha loved it. They put it on the menu. It became a favorite of the John Dory Oyster Bar and the rest is history. A little fun fact about the John Dory Oyster Bar is they actually had a sister restaurant bar here in LA called the Hearth and Hound, which Gabby used to work for. And when the John Dory Oyster Bar closed, which it did, it closed without any explanation. And then 10 days after the John Dory Oyster Bar closed, Hearth and Hound here in LA closed as well. And uh, our friend Gabby was, was doing the 
the cocktail program there. So I just thought that was an interesting little tidbit. This is a fantastic crushable cocktail, bright, citrusy, very complex, uh, not a ton of ingredients, which is the milk and honey template, right? And also, like I said earlier, it's like a riff of a riff of a riff. So, well, it's a riff of a riff. So it came from the uh, bee's knees, right? Which is honey, lemon, and gin. And then Sasha Petrosti made his own version called the business, which is gin, lime, and honey, right? And then this would be the Oaxacanite would be the, the next evolution of that. It's just a, a tweak. But the Regal Shake really does a lot to it. And then also the Angostura Bitters really does a lot to it. And it's just fantastic. That's that's all I got to say. So there you have it, guys. The Oaxacanite. If you guys want to use some of the same glasses that we use in the show, we have partnered up with a company called Amela. And we made this set of these really nice kind of modern style coupes or Nick and Nora's. We sell them in sets of two. So you can go down in the description and click the link. We do these in both clear ones. And then we also have a honeycomb etch pattern, which is really nice. Check them out. Uh, I hope you liked this episode. If you like this channel, please hit like, hit subscribe, check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. We've got to thank our patrons and YouTube members for making this channel what it is. You guys have really helped us out a lot. It is not lost on us. We love you guys. And then also, if you want to check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com, we've got recipes, we've got our virtual bottle program. We've got, uh, what else we got there? Merch, and we have articles. So you should go check it out. And I will see you guys on another time. Um, what's that? It doesn't have any grapefruit in it. Oh, crap. I completely fucked it up. I was supposed to regal shake it with grapefruit. I think the grapefruit was the... I think we're supposed to regal shake it with grapefruit. Hold on.